fucking work. Crap. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. Wow. Okay, I can't do this. Um, oh, I know. Wow. Okay, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know what I'm doing. There. And, oh, I'm, I'm off to the side a bit. Let's line ourselves up. There we go. And then... And then... Drop. Okay, to clarify, <laughs> I was being a little bit facetious about that, wanting to get rid of monitors thing. They are actually really quite useful. So I do want the right. So, um, if you could just avoid smashing them. Right, okay, so now we're going to solve the puzzle. So we need to come up here as well as getting the cube onto the dungeon. Oh, disappointing. Disappointing? We solved the puzzle, but it's disappointing. Sure, we'll be fine. Okay, something's going on. They're not telling us exactly what just yet, though. Hmm, so that excursion funnel puzzle, I guess, was a little bit more complicated than the one earlier. Not by much, though. But using it to... Using it to cross the chasm? Alright, keep testing while she looks for a way out. Alright, so that last test was seriously disappointing. Apparently, being civil isn't motivating you, so let's well destroy her way, alright? Fatty. Adopted <laughs> fatty. Fatty fatty, no parents. Man. What? What exactly is wrong with being adopted? What, what's wrong with being adopted? Uh, uh, well, um, lack of parents. For the record, you are adopted and that's terrible. And also, nothing. But so, well, some of my best friends actually are orphans. Also, but look at her, you moron. She's not fat. I am not a moron! Just do the test. Just do the test. <laughs> See, again, like, they're reinforcing the bond between you and GLaDOS. Like, she's defending you. And then Wheatley's insulting you. So, you know, they're making sure that you understand that he's the villain and she's your friend which is a completely reversal of earlier in the game of course at the start remember how he's your friend and he's helping you and she's trying to kill you so just making sure you understand that and <laughs> fatty fatty no parents <laughs> uh... what is... okay there's cubes there's the funnel there's turrets what's this? back and forth? Oh, back and forth, I remember. And, and this. Let me see if I can remember how to do this. Ah, yes. I remember this one because I couldn't figure out how to destroy that screen. And you notice how there's no way to um, fling yourself or the cube onto the monitor there. It took me quite a while to figure out how to do this one. And whoa, whoa, hey. Did I mess this up already? I think I messed this up already. Can I... Uh, no, I can't. Okay, it's still there. And it's still there. You can kind of step... Like, this is pretty advanced funneling. You can step it up a little bit at a time. You notice how the, the turret is still 
near the top of the funnel. So you can do that to actually maneuver things. And the button, you see that? Wait, don't... What do you mean critical air? Oh, it's gone. Damn it. Damn it, I need it activated. Anyway, so that icon there is next to the button, so that reverses the beam. But uh, I actually need the turret, so let me... Hopefully this is the autosave from right before the level starts. <laughs> Weekly. Did you notice how the icon changed from aperture oh, signs to Wheatley? The last test was seriously disappointing. Apparently, being civil isn't motivating you, so let's let's try her way. All right, fatty, adopted, fatty, 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 no parents. What? What exactly is wrong with being adopted? What, what's wrong with being adopted? Uh, uh, well, um, lack of parents. For the record, you are adopted, and that's terrible. And we also, nothing. But so, well, some of my best friends actually are orphans. Also, but look at her, you moron. She's not fat. I am not a moron! Oh, wait. Just do the test. Just do the test. Actually, I don't think I need to do that. Let me just... I get lost. Huh. Good night. Please put me down. Let me just put her I back and try... that. Can she see him? Okay, no. No, she can't. Okay. Let's just do that. Yes, alright. Okay. This is game Tyson. Um, I'm, I'm surprised you haven't got something better to do, to be honest. Um, I know I have, but um, you, what have you done? You've proven that you can break screens. It's proven. Well done. Factual. Well done. Good. Aren't you, little Miss Clever? Little Miss Smashy Smash? Yeah, so you can break the screens with the turrets. Like, the turrets will actually shoot at the screen by itself, if they're in the right place. Okay, so let's solve the puzzle this time. Um. Let me see... Oh, I remember now. What we want to do is... Well... What we want to do is... That. And then... That. And that's gonna pull it all the way back. And then we drop it... Oh, okay, we don't drop it. But we can just do this. Where, Where's the exit again? Oh, the exit's up there. Where's the switch? Oh, the switch is there. How is that going to... Oh, I remember now. So I can do that. You stay there. Hmm. wrong way. Okay, so we don't do that. What we need to do is to get the cube off that and then we can jump across. I see. Is there anything else to say here? Not really. So this, this introduces the reversible funnel. It's not enough! If I'm such a moron, why can't you solve a simple test? Uh, we, we just did. Anyway, so that introduces the idea that the funnels can be reversed. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it.
Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I hope that didn't, hope that didn't disturb you too much then. It was the same of books. Pages being turned. So that's just what I was doing. Just reading uh, books. So not a moron. Anyway, just finish the last one. Just now, the hardest one. Machiavelli. Do not know what all the fuss was about. Understood it perfectly. Have you read that one? Yeah. Yeah, doubt it. Well, on with the test. Wish there was more books. Well, there's not. <laughs> Machiavelli. You might actually be interested in reading that yourself, Machiavelli. Anyway, how to smash the screen. Or oh, actually, what's behind here first? Nothing. So he's pretending to be smart, listening to classical music and reading. Pretending to be reading. Cube, aerial faith plates, and funnels, but not reversible funnels this time. That brings us there. Where are the cubes being dropped? The cubes are being dropped up there. Oh yes, I remember. That. And that. And... Then... There. So there's the good old flinging mechanism again. Oh, there's two screens. I can smash both of them. I'm just thinking, is there anything important about architecture or level design here? It's a slightly more complicated variation of the funnels, but aside from that... I mean, architecturally, we see how it's, it's the new aperture science with the new textures, but it's kind of completely messed up because Wheatley is a bad person, or like a bad administrator. So you know, all of this is completely messed up. Aside from that, is there anything important to say? I don't think so, anyway. Button? Oh, it drops it straight onto that. I see. So first, let's smash the screen. And do you see that shadow there? I wonder if that's... Okay. Let's try that again. I'm just wondering if that's a clue or not. Uh, no, no it's not. No it's not. So we need to figure out how high to put it in. I don't know if that's even the right place to... to drop the portal or not. Almost. So maybe like there? Where did I put it last time? I don't remember. Okay, that was on this side of the screen. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. Just let me play around with this a little bit. Wow, okay, I see. Was the beam really right on top of the screen? I thought it wasn't. Sorry, does it actually make you feel good doing that? Because, you know... It's not impressive, no one's impressed. It's just glass, isn't it? Fragile. Anyone could, a baby could smash one of them. It's not impressive. <laughs> Alright, so now let's solve the puzzle. And if I remember right, this was the... the puzzle where this was actually introduced, because, look at this. Here. If you just put the portal there... Oh, damn. It interrupted him. He uh, test subject in Africa who don't have monitors in the test chambers. Okay, you can read the subtitle there. I don't know. Actually, no, I want to I listen to that, so... 
Okay, I just reloaded the game from the last autosave, and I was going to play through until we get back to this point before I started recording again, but the autosave actually dropped us right at this point. I was expecting to be all the way back at the start of the level, but we're not. Sorry, does it actually make you feel good doing that? Because, you know, it's not impressive, no one's impressed. It's just glass, isn't it? Fragile, anyone could, a baby could smash one of them. It's not impressive. <laughs> baby. Yeah, so, I just want to point out how amazing the autosave is in this game. Instead of starting you at the beginning of the test chamber, it started you right here in the last place where you were safe. Compared that to the save point in some other games, I'm not gonna name names, but maybe you can think of a few yourself. Do you know what? There are test subjects in Africa who don't even have monitors in their test chambers, alright? What do you think about that before you break any more of them, yeah? <laughs> Funny. Alright, so let's, let's move on. And we haven't died oh, very much at all. We haven't died very much at all. And so we haven't had to test the autosave system very much. But whenever we have, you see how good it is. <laughs> 